promise during the stream that I will win seven stages and actually it's gonna be more smoother than what happened on the stream so let's go for that we're gonna select the panda Fong we're gonna select Lady Ivy we're going to select Avatar of the Forest we're going to select Mother of Swarm we're going to select Einstein and Medusa we're gonna go with that selection into battle And we're going to skip, we're not going to watch battles this time. So the first round we won. Alright, now we have a number of heroes compiled and we're going to be selling the majority of those heroes. Two, three, four, five. We're going to keep only Lady Ivy. We're going to take Indira. We're going to take Collapse. Then we're going to go after the interest. The temple coins we have is 55. The interest will give you every five temple coins you have one interest only the interest is what we use to exchange in the store and refresh what is showing at this stage we need another hero a good one so that's actually a good one the great sage for now we'll, we will stop and enter into the battle and hopefully we will win we're underpowered Alright, we won. We got the Dimensional Emperor, which is very essential at this stage. We need him. We're not going to refresh. We're going to go directly in gaining the interest. We're not going to do anything. We're going to go directly into challenging the next round. We're going to go into battle directly as we are. We're not going to make any changes. Right, we won that round. Fantastic. This is where we currently stand. We're going to give Lady Ivy for the next upcoming rounds, the time cycle. We're going to go directly into gaining the interest. Right. We will go with selection of heroes. All right. Let's refresh. Okay. At this stage, we want to get rid of two heroes versus two heroes. We're going to get rid of Indira. We're going to get rid of Collapse. We're going to go with Julia and we're going to go with the goddess of ocean that would be the heroes we're going to go for for now then we're gonna refresh and we see darkness has shown now anubis and darkness are good selections but you cannot have all the heroes all at once so we'll try to at least go for anubis for lady ivy we'll also kick her out of the team and we'll take darkness so this will be the finalized version of the heroes we will have now since we really don't have a specific hero for cc control we're going to sell that then refresh we have eternal soul we can take eternal soul the gym and then refresh the pit spear is a good selection so we might actually just opt in for going to the pit spear all right now currently we can either give the pit spear to julia or we can give him the pit spear to the great sage we're gonna give the great spear, the pit spear to the great sage and then we're gonna go into the next round all right let's skip the battle that's round number four right at this stage we have an extra hero we're gonna sell her irene we can go with the Devil's Eye. That can be a good selection actually for Anubis. So we're going to take it. We're going to give it to Anubis. Okay, then we're going to refresh into the next round and gain that small bits and pieces of interest. We're going to look at our heroes. We lack so many artifacts. By refreshing, we don't have enough anyway to buy anything or exchange for anything, so we'll go directly into battle. And then we're going to skip. We won the battle. Alright, at this stage, we have the orb. We can give the orb to one of our heroes. And let's see, is there anything? No, we'll go, we'll go into taking the interest. We'll go into challenge. Okay, at this stage, we can give the orb to darkness. That should be something acceptable. 
but then again she might be killed so we'll just give it and hope for the best all right more heroes have shown tuku mecha valkyria okay we're not gonna go for any of those heroes we're gonna refresh refresh we want something that the goddess of ocean can use the tyrant's hammer uh not really something we should take unless we're gonna give it to julia but for the sake of seeing let's buy it and then refresh if something better pops up we'll exchange for that okay hunters seth so we can go for the hunters seth and give it to julia that would be a good selection all right currently there's only two heroes still without any artifacts or anything all right let's go into the battle and then let's skip that would be round number six we got the boots before we do anything let's go into the next round and gain the interest all right for the boots the boots actually should be given to let's give the boots to the great sage no let me think about this all right so we made a couple of adjustments for the heroes with the dark artifacts that can fit them accurately we're going to be selling the pit spear unfortunately because we need artifacts related more to heroes the two remaining that can help them in battle all right let's see the immortal shield let's take the immortal shield for the goddess of ocean let's refresh uh, let's take light of faith or actually fictional reality can also work damage immunity increase and hp and armor mm, let's take light of faith then refresh let's see if anything shows up holy prayer can be good but we're not really looking for that so okay fine okay so for the emperor we can give him either light of faith or the immortal shield let's give him the immortal shield and let's give the goddess of ocean light of faith all right now we have our full set of heroes with the full set of artifacts that we're going to go into the last round with let's adjust our heroes all right let's go into the battle and let's show the battle the final one let's see how they will do actually in the battle we're relying on darkness by giving her the orb to attack directly in round number one by her ultimate and giving energy to the lovely two next to her which are julia and at the same time the great sage both of them have dark artifacts that will increase their damage so it should be good okay still okay let the poking begin yeah not enough poking ability anubis and then the great sage attack julia attacks the great sage and now he's starting to do his multiple attacks that drain the hp in a good way all right still okay darkness uh, sorry collapse attacks very close in taking them out okay the great sage is in resurrection stage darkness attacks taking out elodie okay enters the emperor with the hp recovery Julia attacks, take out, takes out Collapse. Nice. Julia is attempting to take out the Music Fairy. She couldn't. Okay, Darkness attacks. Takes out a good chunk of the HP and then there's HP recovery happening. It's so close. Okay, another HP recovery. 
the great sage attacks julius taking out slowly logan okay almost there another attack by darkness yeah that would be seven wins no losses no defeats and yeah it, it did go easier anyway now we've entered into the ranking and you can move up until five players so let's go and attack one player the downside is we couldn't get any of the queen of desert copies that's going to be a problem in going up against her in battle couldn't even get a baron so that's going to be another problem and you can see why i call it a problem because of the winning cycle isn't going so well right so that's one and moves us to two to one let's try another player and everyone will be having the queen of desert available so they can bash our entire team very very fast right another second second battle and we won 134 let's try to attack the player with the ranking 70 okay we lost let's try to attack the player with the ranking 85 okay we won we're now at ranking 85 let's go for the player with the ranking 42 no that 42 would be difficult uh, okay that's complex let's try the 59 yep to the 65 we try to the 72 we try cruel okay nice we're at 72 now then let's try to go for the ranking uh, 56 is going to be problematic how about 31 31 is going to be a problem we need a different lineup problem more problem let's try the 39 it's gonna be our last battle all right we didn't win okay so we advanced from the ranking of 200 plus plus to the ranking of 72 currently now we need to end the battle okay and then you will have to try again the entire cycle to win and enter into the ranking and try to advance into the ranking itself we've entered into the leadership board currently and we're at ranking 72 we hopefully want to at least reach the ranking between 11 and 50 which is okay it can be done you have multiple attempts you can try it every single day after that you would directly collect the daily quests rewards the coins if you can call it that and they accumulate the more they accumulate okay the more you'll be coming closer to getting the six star universal stigmata optional pack after you've completed the points needed all right guys thanks so much for tuning in to this video i'll see you in an upcoming one and have a great day ahead